Okay, everyone, to Judas, we just coming to you guys. So, we're gonna react to a video. This video is a long one. This is entitled The Cold War Oversimplified Part One. Of course, thank you so very much for requesting this video. I'm assuming this is not a Thai video, um, because it says Cold War Oversimplified English. Thank you so very much for requesting. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, guys. If you want me to react to a video, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. I've decided that in order to sell more merch, I should do a face reveal wearing some of it. So, are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Really? Boom. <laughs> new minimalist and Cold War merch available now. Ooh. You get the new limited edition Churchill character pin before it sells out. With more characters wow. coming in the future. That's link great. in the description down below. Of course, the original video link the is in the description, so you can go ahead and check out the YouTube channel. Fighting rages on the Eastern Front of the First World War. Both Germany and Russia are on the brink of collapse. Uh -huh. Soldier, I need you to bring me this man. Got it. German, no, no, sir. <laughs> no, don't lend none. <laughs> Lenin, the <laughs> Russian communist. Ooh. Why would I need a beetle? Ooh. Lenin, the Russian communist. He was exiled to Switzerland. Shh. You know what? I'll do it myself. Oh boy. Do they make gonna burst into this building? <laughs> Ooh, I was right. <laughs> Start a revolution. <laughs> oh boy. He's ready to start a revolution. We ready to start. I'm ready to go right now. <laughs> Ready to go right now. The Germans put Lenin on a train and sent him all the way back to Russia, hoping he and his mates would create an internal crisis. And uh -huh. create an internal crisis they did. Oh the government was overthrown. Oh, the sure. was in charge. He immediately pulled out of the First World War, made the country. 1918, New York, 100 years ago, caused the famine. Oh. And then he died. Oh my. His deathbed, he 1924 he died? Tell whoever's in charge of giving people jobs not to let that jerk Stalin become the next leader. Oh. By the way, who did I put in charge of giving people jobs? Stalin? That would be Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Stalin was a rising force in the Communist Party. Oh, shoot. Sure some opponents, but conveniently, all of them were arrested or disappeared. Oh my gosh. So that was lucky. And so Stalin took over. He wow. implemented his not surprised. plans, which transformed the country from an agriculture based economy to an industrial one. Oh, and shoot. Like Lenin before him, he reigned with terror. Anyone My who gosh. dared criticize or oppose him would either be killed or left to rot in the horrendous Soviet work camps. Then a short what? man with a silly mustache tried to take over the war, punched the Russians <laughs> all the way to Moscow, and then the Russians, with some help from their faithful oh allies, gosh. the winter punched them all the way back to Berlin. Jeez. At this point, being allies, America, the UK, and America the have Union to. We're good chums. They held a couple of conferences near the end of the <sighs> year to decide what would happen next. Hey, Stalin, after all your trials and tribulations, America just have to, to be standing here in Berlin. America is Alexander all over the world out. intervening and stuff. Even in uh, this modern hey, age, uh, 2019, this there's a situation in Venezuela. I think something's up with Stalin. <sighs> I know, right? What there's should we another do? Shall I tell him about the bomb? Oh, yeah. Tell him about the bomb. That will scare him. So we got this crazy new big A bomb that can destroy an entire city in one go. Huh. Yes, my spies told me already. Ooh. Oh wait, I meant to act surprised. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> he already knew. How? Spies? Um, <laughs> What? Am I sure I want to send nuclear secrets via unsecured public coffee shop? <laughs> Am I ever? Dude, use a VPN. Uh, and yeah. speaking of VPNs, if, like me, you take <laughs> internet safety seriously, Yo. then you need NordVPN. NordVPN hides your online activities from outside internet, really? preventing anyone from stealing your personal data and stopping your service providers selling your data to advertisers. Oh With over 5,000 servers in 62 countries, I'll come back to that surf the net to check out this and securely. And it's simple awesome. to use. With just the click of a button, you can connect to a server halfway across the world, even allowing you to access streaming services from that specific territory. Really? Say, for example, you wanted to watch a certain oversimplified video that for some reason has been blocked in your country. With NordVPN, you can. It works oh! seamlessly across PC, mobile, and tablet. Go to NordVPN.com slash simplified to get an amazing 75% off. That's wow. just $2.99 per month with an additional month free for that limited time. That is amazing. Time. So again, that's NordVPN.com slash oversimplified, also in the description box down below. Original now, video of this video oh, will yeah. be in the description. Does the A stand for atomic or Duh. Oh my gosh. America dropped their big A-bomb on Japan. <laughs> yeah. World War II officially came to Oh my end. gosh. Hooray, we won. Okay, so now it's time to establish the new world order. Oh Stalin, my gosh. you're in charge of Eastern Europe. Hmm. Now, we want you to let them all hold elections. Oh yes, of course, elections. And these elections will be free and fair. Stalin doesn't sound oh, like yes, he... certainly, free and fair. Stalin doesn't sound free like free he's going to... Communist, 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 oh, communist, communist. If that's not free and fair, 
I don't know what it is. Throughout Ooh. Eastern Europe, Soviet puppet governments were established as a buffer zone between huh. the USSR and the West, with Hold Churchill on, proclaiming okay. an iron curtain had descended across the continent. The relationship wow. between the old allies was deteriorating fast. Over the next few years, the British intervened in the Greek Civil War to prevent a communist takeover. In Turkey, the Russians began demanding more control of Turkey's sea axis routes, which prompted the US to send their largest battleship US to a friendly visit. After World War II, Iran was now occupied by both the Soviets and the British, with an wow. agreement to both pull out once the war was over. Hmm. The British pulled out. Stalin was like, you know what? Stalin is I very stubborn. All in favor of kicking Russia out of Iran? <laughs> I... You want to know something? <laughs> Russia, get you out. You guys suck. Pressure from the UN forced the Soviets to leave, and with the establishment of NATO, the Soviets wow. had no doubt that the West was out to encircle and destroy them. An American announced the Truman Doctrine, in which they Truman. basically said, those guys are not cool, cannot be trusted, hmm. and we will do everything we can to prevent the spread of communism around the world. Contain view this moment as the official declaration oh, of boy. the war. war. Back in Europe, everyone was living in a post-apocalyptic void brought Ooh. on by the Second World War. Cities reduced to rubble, not enough food. It was terrible. This sounds right. familiar. Suffered, this sounds like this a certain country that's like that right now. Really messed up. What's it's wrong like with you? my father used to punish me severely. Hmm. America realized what was going on and quickly made a move. Under the Marshall Plan, they sent twelve billion dollars to well, Western Europe for its economic recovery. The countries of Stalin's Eastern Bloc looked on with envy. Hey Czechoslovakia, you want to come get some economic aid? Yeah, but I have to check <laughs> my mom first. Ooh. <laughs> nope. Sorry, America. <laughs> This was a full-on yeah. economic battle raging between capitalism and communism. In huh. If the Western nations developed faster and better than the East, that would be a defeat for Stalin. So he set up his own rival economic recovery plan, which he called Comic-Con. And he also set up Comic -Con. Comic Reform, which gave him more political control over the Eastern Bloc. But nowhere did this economic battle rage harder than in the city of Berlin. Hmm. Caught over a hundred miles behind Soviet lines, the city had been divided up between the Allies and, they still and the have... Western segments were still under Western that control. Little city of Berlin, they still have different... different Berlin. Party so is having prosperity power there. Hmm. Maybe this communism thing ain't so great after all. I'm gonna have <laughs> fun tonight. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stalin. Stalin on only tail. Friends, you stink <laughs> capitalism. You're out engaging in imperialist debauchery again. Huh. I swear, Ivan, I can't keep doing this. Oh Stalin wanted the West out. So he said, hey, Stalin. guess what? I'm blockading all of your supply routes to West Berlin. Shh. What are you gonna do about it? I suppose we'll just fly the supplies in. Oh my gosh. I'm done on chopping my view the wall. <laughs> All right, so the wall. The Berlin airlift was an incredible undertaking. And oh, it's like history just repeating, just repeating itself, yo. Some way just repeating itself. Don't they learn from the past? True. Sus. The Soviet Union Bloom. had developed their very own atomic bomb. The USA no longer had a nuclear weapon. Oh, the boy. world now knew that if a major war broke out between the two superpowers, it would be more destructive than anyone wow. could imagine. So it was comforting when Stalin came out and said that war between the Soviet Union and the West was unlikely. Hmm. Oh, wait, inevitable. Oh. He said it was inevitable. inevitable. Hey, you know who I haven't checked in on in a while? My good friend China. Ah. Whoa, <laughs> what happened to you? What happened to them was a full-blown civil war that had been going on since 1927. The People's Liberation Army, under the leadership of Mao Zedong, successfully defeated the Republic of China, who fled to Taiwan. The now communist oh, yeah. China and the Soviet Union signed a mutual defense treaty. This was terrible news for the West. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. There's more. <laughs> After the Second World War, Korea was divided along the 38th parallel. In the north, the Soviets set up still a communist divide? regime. In the south, America set up an anti-communist regime. Both were led by very sweet-looking old men. But don't look back at this <laughs> They were both so ruthless dictators. And both dreamed of reuniting Korea under their own regime. Oh my god, now this is impressive. Stalin was you. feeling a little more cocky. <laughs> and he finally gave Kim permission to attack. The north launched a surprise invasion of the south on June 25th, 1950. With Yo. Soviet aid, the North Koreans steamrolled through, taking Seoul in just three days. Wow. Replacing one ruthless dictator with another. The UN were freaking out and hmm. quickly created an emergency force made up of troops from 16 countries to defend the South. The West still held Busan and made landings at Incheon near Seoul. They pushed the North Koreans out of Seoul, replacing the ruthless dictator that had replaced the first ruthless dictator with the same ruthless dictator that had previously been replaced by the new ruthless dictator. The West then continued all the way up the Korean Peninsula. At this point, China was getting worried that the UN may just keep going. Wow. The US had sent this guy to lead the operation. After winning the Pacific Theater of World War II, General Douglas MacArthur's head was big and his balls were bigger. He reassured President Truman that there was absolutely no way at all that the Chinese would ever get involved. Meanwhile, hmm. half a million Chinese troops were crossing into Korea. Nuke them. No, 
Nuclear. Wow. No. Oh, come on. You're fired. Ooh. The US considered the nuclear option, but now that the Soviets also had the bomb, they didn't want to risk all out global destruction. Huh. The communists pushed the West right back almost to the exact same spot they had all started from. And Jeez. they ended up in a stalemate where they remained until both sides finally agreed to work towards a peace settlement in 2018. Back in America, Americans <laughs> decided mean. they wanted a new president who would be tough on communism. So they elected famed World War II general Eisenhower. Huh. It was really hard to draw. <laughs> it's not Hey, Stone. How you doing? Oh, he's dead. Oh! He had a cerebral hemorrhage and his oh my gosh. came back to bite him in the ass because he had imprisoned all of his best doctors and those that were left were too terrified to treat him. The new leader <laughs> well, the 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 shop, told the meeting and said, I don't but that you is just, that that is just trying to murdering us all for doing basically nothing. Yeah, he was kind of a jerk. Hmm. I'm really not sure how this is news to you. Khrushchev went on a campaign of de-Stalinization. <laughs> wow. Statues of Stalin were taken oh, down, shoot. Stalingrad was renamed, and Khrushchev announced that he wanted the Soviet people to be happy and would allow greater freedom wow. in the Soviet Union. So how did that work out? Well, an uprising Let's in East Germany was brutally suppressed. Oh. A revolution in Hungary was brutally suppressed. Shh. And demonstrations in Poland were brutally suppressed. Doom, Although doom, they did doom. finally allow some mild reforms. Back in the Soviet Union, he permitted more cultural expression, but then began banning stuff based on his own personal taste. Wow. Modern art looks like a child urinated on a camera. Oh my. Banned. Jazz music sounds like the feeling of needing to fart. Banned. What? Your poetry is really depressing. How could anyone in the Soviet Union be depressed? You're banned. Khrushchev wanted this guy just banned me for you feel like that. Or that, or that, young people began enjoying abhorrent Western pop culture. Son, remove that disgusting imperialist <laughs> power at once. Shut up, Dad. Oh. You can't tell me what to do. What well, would the you look at that? Turns out he can tell me what to do. Oh the my West gosh! Initially liked the cut of Khrushchev's jib, but world events soon soured relations even that more. That is some serious issue. The two sides were spying on each other a whole lot throughout the Cold War. The KGB had spies and informants in nearly every aspect of Western life and government. So much so that whenever the U.S. tried to send spies into the Soviet Union, the KGB were usually ready to arrest them on the spot. Oh. Members of the Manhattan Project aided the Soviet Union in acquiring the bomb. Some American officials believed they were on the wrong side. I'll sell you three secrets for five million dollars. Wow. Okay, go ahead. The Allies are digging a tunnel under East Berlin to tap your communications. There's an American agent living at this... This guy is just a traitor. When I'm home alone, I like to put on my wife's dresses, sit in the corner, and cry for hours. <laughs> you, you, with a betrayal? Interesting. In America, fear took hold wow. during the Red Scare and the McCarthy trials. American values imploded as fear of communism collided with freedom of thought and expression. And communist kind of became a buzzword thrown around to describe anything people didn't like. Hmm. Hollywood? Communist. Your next door neighbor's dog? Com communist. <laughs> when the grocery store cashier asks if you need a bag when you clearly can't carry 10 tons of bacon eggs in your hands? Communist. communist. <laughs> but one area in particular where the U.S. had an edge over the Soviet uh, Union oh was espionage technology. In particular, U-2 spy planes flew across Russia <sighs> carrying out surveillance from the skies. There was a nasty incident in 1960 when one was shot down and Khrushchev was furious. Who the hell is this? Sure, boy. He's up. High altitude weather enthusiast. <laughs> of okay, that sounds plausible. Wait a minute. Whoa. Why does he have a gun and a poison needle? Because he's a very naughty high altitude weather enthusiast. <laughs> but much to America's concern, naughty, naughty, the Soviet naughty. Union appeared to be very naughty. in the space race. Everyone wow. freaked oh, yeah. out when Russia launched the world's first satellite, Satellites. and then they actually sent a man into space. Even worse, <laughs> there also appeared to be a missile gap in the Soviets' favor, and Khrushchev was so confident that he even allowed the U.S. to set up a technology exhibit in Moscow, attended by a certain vice president, Richard Nixon. <laughs> Richard Nixon. We have color TV. Yes, but we've been to space and can obliterate you with our massive nuclear arsenal. Wow. Check out this vegetable peeler. Tensions increased <laughs> further when both sides upgraded their atomic bombs to hydrogen oh, bombs. And after West Germany was allowed to join NATO in 1965, so much war and desire to fight. Pact, strengthening the military ties between the Soviet Union and its satellite states. In 1960, Americans decided Election. they wanted a new president who would be tough on communism. Again. So they elected John F. Kennedy. Oh. The Soviet Union was advancing its technology, but it was also bleeding its coffers wow. dry. And all of the money was going towards the military, not the people. Hmm. Life under communism was still as hard as ever. And Berlin Rats remained a thorn in the Soviet side. The contrast between the economically prosperous West and the struggling East was clearer day by day, wow. and East Berliners were still able to freely travel to the West. Now, many of them were deciding to stay there. Hmm. Millions defected to West Germany via West Berlin, causing Eastern factories to lose workers and take yeah. a heavy toll on the economy. Really? Soviet leaders decided this couldn't continue any longer. First, Khrushchev tried this. Leave West Berlin, or else. Hmm. Or else what? Or else, or else, I'll be really mad at you. Yeah, no, we're gonna <laughs> stay. Listen, man, West wow. Berlin is ours, East Berlin is yours. That's just how it is. Oh Kennedy boy. felt pretty good about his show of American result. But wait a second, did you catch that? Let's replay it. Berlin is yours.
Oh boy. Uh -oh. Kennedy just told Khrushchev that the USA wouldn't interfere in what the Soviets did with their section of Berlin. Huh. Khrushchev came up with a new idea. We're gonna build Smart a wall, man. and it's gonna be a big, beautiful wall, and it's gonna keep out all the Mexicans. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna keep in all the Mexicans. Oh my god, I love that. On August 13th, 1961, <laughs> Berliners woke up to find their city divided into two, with barbed wire and guards blocking the border between wow. east and west. Over time, a wall was constructed hmm. throughout the city. Families were torn ah, apart. Boy. Thousands would Reminds me of something that wanna happen in 2019. To the despair of Berliners, the Berlin the Wall. Able to do anything about it, but the wall did put on full display the failure of the communist wow. system. As Kennedy said, democracy is not perfect, but we have never had to put a wall up to keep our people in. Hmm. As part of the agreement between the two sides, U.S. diplomats were still allowed to travel to just keep Berlin, fighting. But suddenly, East Berlin wow. crossing guards started giving them the business, Ooh. and Kennedy was like, nah -uh. nah -uh. October, <laughs> the U.S. wall flanks up to the crossing point at Checkpoint Charlie as a show of strength. Wow. The Soviets did the same, and the two were in a standoff. They stayed like that for 16 hours, and the world braced for nuclear Armageddon. Thankfully, nuclear though, Kennedy Armageddon. called Khrushchev directly and was like, hey man, this is getting way too hot. How about you back your tanks up by an inch and we'll do the same? <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, how about you back your tanks up by another inch and we'll follow suit wow All right. hey you want to do another inch and they both and another inch, inch to and, another the inch, and another you, inch let's hope that's the biggest crisis of my presidency <laughs> it wasn't oh boy part two Ooh, we come to the end already so there's a part two of course um based on you guys request if you want me to react to part two of course leave a comment i'll try my best to react to it of course that was a great video i love the animation and the, the, the art there it was great of course, the information is very much a lot to take in, but it's something to learn. If you'd like to learn about your the world and how things happened and what led to us being here right now, it's these sort of videos are very important and you should consider watching it. Even separate from this reaction video, you should consider because it's very it's a creative way to learn his, the history rather than just reading a book that's plain and boring. It's a creative way to learn the history of the world, of course. Thank you so very much for requesting. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, guys. If you want me to react to video, as I said, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.